Hello everyone and a massive welcome or welcome back to Fallout Play Build Collect. In this video I'm going to be finishing off my series on basic building tips. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series I highly recommend them. If you're either new to the building system or you're a returning builder, good for a refresher course. And they'll be popping up here in the top corner. So in the last two videos we took a look at the rug glitch and the pillar glitch. And we use the rug glitch to merge items into other items. And we use the pillar glitch to push items underground or to lower them down. Now the question is, what happens if you want to do both? So if we take a look here, I'm using the pillar that we used in the previous video. And we can sync the object without a problem. But as you can see, if we try and replicate what we've done with the rug, trying to push this fence into the side of the building to make it appear as though it's a barricade. It won't do it. So the pillar is fine for sinking objects, but it won't let you merge them into other objects like the rug did. So this is a little frustrating, but there are ways around it. So as some people said on the previous videos, the rug glitch can be a little bit fiddly. It is a little bit annoying to use sometimes. And as I said in that video, I don't use it very often myself, only when there's something I really want to get closer to an object or into another object. Lots of people are experts at this and they use it all the time. But as I said with it, it really needs to be something you experiment a lot with. Very difficult sometimes to get it sitting correctly on the rugs so that you can make it move how you want it to. Now this is where I was saying before about using multiple rugs and having a longer chain of rugs sometimes or even using the bigger rugs as I did in that rug glitch video. Again, go back and refer to that one if you haven't seen it. But here, as you can see, once you get the thing situated, if you place a pillar or other sinking items, again in the pillar video I showed other items that will do this, most people use this pillar because it's just easier to see around more than anything else. Now if we move this up to the building, we can see now that we're getting the effect of both the rug and the pillar. The rugs are allowing the fence to move into the side of the building and the pillar is allowing it to sink. So this gives us the best of both worlds. So let's move our pillar away and let's take a closer look. Instead of having that fence all the way up to the top, there was nothing wrong with that, it looked fine. I think this looks quite nice. Settlers look like they could get behind it. It looks more like a barricade than a fence. And overall, this just gives you more options if you want to produce a more barricaded look. Now, one of the drawbacks with this system is the fact that you're going to lose your mats underground. You can't reuse them as you did with the normal rug glitch system. But if you do go up close to the area in which you sunk them, occasionally you can find the mats underground and still remove them. You can just store them back in your workshop and use them again. Now, this isn't always possible, but sometimes you can find them and pull them back out. So if you're not happy with the look of the item or the placement of the item, you can drop the pillar back in and just pull the items out. You can raise them back up, take your mats and place them back into the workbench. So hopefully that's given you a fairly quick and concise look at all the various tips we can use in the building system. As far as the building side of things go, that's the end of the tips and tricks videos for now. But there will be some more tips and tricks videos with some gameplay coming up soon. So as always, a massive thank you for watching. If you could like and leave me a comment, you help the channel out immensely. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that's coming up. I've got lots of great building videos coming up very soon. I'm working on a lot of fantastic elements. And maybe take a look at some of the other cool Fallout content here on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos when they go live. So take care of yourselves and each other. Enjoy your gaming and I hope to see you in another video very soon. Thanks for watching.